A very good morning, Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel, Seek the Soul, the Truth Lies Within. And for that link of this channel, it's given in the description down below. If you're looking at it on Instagram or Twitter, go down to the link and you can check out the playlist which takes you towards different topics, right from your physical health to your spiritual health. So let's go ahead with today's blessing, 256th day of our Godly blessing. What does Baba have to say? Let's check that out. Baba says, may you be a constant server, constant server, serving humanity and with your love for service, transform your Lokic family into a godly family. How is that possible? We'll explore that. So Lokic means worldly family into a godly family means they are also following spiritual ways. So what does Baba have to say? Baba says, the duty of a server is to be constantly engaged in doing service. So if we are constantly engaged in doing service, we are actually serving not just ourselves, we are serving everybody else. Whether it is service through thoughts, words or actions. We can even think good about others, we can think pure about others, we can have good wishes towards others as we had explored in different Vardans or blessings in the previous Vardans. That if you have good wishes for others, that also affects them. So whether it is service through thoughts, words or actions. So words also have an effect on other people, right? So if your words are sweeter, as God says, if your words are sweeter, even if the other person is harsh, then it helps you to stabilize yourself irrespective of what other people say. And it is also important for you to give right words so that the karma is right and what comes back from there is also right. So then Baba says, a server never considers service to be separate from him. They don't think that, okay, this is time for service and now it's time for doing worldly things. They think that while doing worldly things, I'm doing service because my thoughts and words and actions are being seen. What I'm doing on this world stage is being checked by Supreme God the Father also and is being checked by the souls also. So those whose intellects always love doing service change their Lokic family into a godly family. A server doesn't consider his home to be a home but a place for doing service. So this place where I'm staying is also God's given home. It's not my house. If I think it's my house and if I'm doing the work over here, I'll find it as a burden. But if I'm doing godly service, I think this house is given by God. I'm taking care of it. I'm cleaning it nicely. I'm cleaning utensils. Or I'm mopping or wiping. I won't have the ego that how can I mop? How can I wipe this place? How can I clean the utensils? The ego won't come because I'm doing service in God's home, not my home. So, a server doesn't consider his home to be home, but a place of doing service. The main virtue of a server is renunciation. So what do I have to renounce? I have to renounce the ego. I have to renounce any, any form of jealousy or greed or expectations out of it that I have done so much. What do I get in return? All that has to be removed. Or how much somebody else is doing? What are they doing and what am I doing? Am I doing more than them? All that comparison competition also has to be removed. So those with an attitude of renunciation stay in their households as embodiments of tapasya. So they are the ones who actually give away all the weaknesses within them. They renounce the weakness within them. They are not about I, me, myself, nor are they about I, I have done it more or I need the fame or I need the name or this is my place, all the ego, everything gets removed. And that's where the true service of a home or a household or a workplace comes in action. So then Baba says, through which service happens automatically. Now you might think, why do I need to serve over there? God says the atmosphere of that place becomes better for work to happen, for the improvement to happen, for whether you want to improve financially, whether you want to improve physically, whether you want to improve mentally. It all starts with doing service in your own household, in your own place. So use your home as a place of service. Always think that my thoughts, words and actions have to improve here first, then they will have an effect all around the world or in my community or wherever you want it to happen. And that is what is God's blessing today. Let's start it from our own home. So have a blessed day and also if you think that something needs to be added over here or some comment you have, do share it over here about your comments regarding this blessing. Have a blessed day, stay protected and have a nice health and life. Om Shanti. Mm -hmm.